The seam allowance tool is for adding exportable printable seam allowance to your 2D patterns. The seam allowance will not show in 3D, but it can be exported on the pattern as a PDF or DXF. To add seam allowance, marquee with the tool over all your patterns. In the property editor, you can edit the default seam allowance width you'd like for most seams. Then you can go back and select any segments that you'd like to be different than that. Hold shift to select multiple segments and then change the measurement as desired in the property editor. For things like turn back hems or the underarm of a sleeve, select segment points individually and use the drop down menu in the property editor to change the intersection or the angle of the seam allowance at the seam. The different options will be parallel or perpendicular to the different pattern edges, mirror the pattern, or actually cut away the corner. For darts, the correct dart intersection option is only available when a dart is added as a dart in Clo. So if you drafted your dart with traditional pattern drafting techniques, Clo doesn't recognize it as a dart and the seam allowance will not fill in the dart excess. But if you right clicked on a segment point and chose add dart or add dart with fullness, you will have two dart intersection options depending on which way the dart is folded. If you have seam allowance only on one edge of a pattern intersection, you will automatically get the drop down options for either start or end. These give you three options for how to end the seam allowance. It can be an extension of the intersecting seam, perpendicular to the line it's applied to, or mirroring the intersecting seam. To ensure the seam allowance is readable in another 2D CAD software, when exporting as a DXF, check the box Swap Cutting Line and Sewing Line. This may import differently depending on the 2D CAD software, but it should be usable. When exporting as a PDF, check the box Seam Allowance in order for it to export with your pattern.